In today's tutorial, I'll be sharing with you three free and unlimited AI image generators that I think you should be using. Before we get into that though, if you're a content creator on YouTube and you're struggling to hit the monetization requirements, we are having a 90-day YouTube monetization challenge. So this might be exactly what you need. So make sure you check it out and leave the link to it in the description box below. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. So we'll start by going over to this website right here. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. So once you're here, you can choose to proceed with video effects or vertex AI. So I'll just go ahead and use the video effects option. So once you click on that, this is where you'll end up. So what you need to do is just go ahead and click on this button right here. So from the drop down menu, you're going to choose image effects. So once you're here, we have the prompt box area right here. So this is where your prompt is going to go. So I'll just go ahead and input a prompt that I already have. The next thing that you need to do is you can just go ahead and choose any of these categories right here if they feel right for your image. If not, it's actually not necessary. Next, you're going to go over to the settings. So we have the seed. So you can have that locked or unlocked for variety. And if you have a specific seed number, you can go ahead and input it right there. Now, we also have the model. So we're just going to choose the best quality. And next, we have the aspect ratio. So I'll choose the landscape. After that, you're ready to go. So I'll just go ahead and hit the create button. And this is just going to start generating the image for me. As you can see, the first image is ready. Actually, the image generation process is really fast. So if you do not like the image that you got, you can just go ahead and hit the create button to create again. Or you can just go ahead and click on the start over button to start afresh. Now here we have our image. So if you like it, you can click on this download button and the image will be downloaded to your computer without any watermark. Now I'll just go ahead and input a different prompt right here. The next I'll just go ahead and hit the create button. Again, the process is pretty much the same. So again, I'll just go ahead and fast forward the creation process. So here we have a realistic image of a girl that we wanted. As you can see, the execution of my prompt was actually really, really well done. So if you do generate a lot of images for your projects, this is an AI tool you should actually consider. To generate your images in a specific style, whether you want them realistic or in 3D Disney Pixar style or even manga or whichever style that you want, you have to go ahead and make sure you mention that in your prompt. Then once you do that, all you have to do is just hit the create button and let the AI tool do the magic for you. So as you can see right here, these are images that I generated using this AI image generator. And of course, as you can tell, they are all in different styles. So you can basically do that. But as I said, you just have to make sure you mention that in your prompt. The second tool is one. So to get started, all you have to do is go ahead and click on this AI image tab or you can click on the one that is on the left-hand side panel right here. So once you're here, you can just go ahead and input your prompt right here in the prompt box area. So I'll just go ahead and paste a prompt that I already have. So once that is done, the next thing that you can do is go ahead and choose the model that you want to use. So right here, you can see all the available models. So I'll just go with the 1 to 0.1. The next thing that you can do is go ahead and choose your style palette. If you need to, it's not necessary. In my case, I'll not be choosing any of it, any of the style palettes, sorry. So after that, you can then go ahead and choose the aspect ratio. I'll be choosing 16 is to 9. And then you can have the inspiration mode on or off, depending on whether you want the AI to get creative with your prompt or to follow it prom uh, strictly, that is. So in my case, I'll have it off and then I'll go ahead and hit the generate button. As you can see, it's going to consume two credits and the image generation with this tool is actually really fast. So in just a few minutes, actually seconds, the images are ready. So as you can see, you can go ahead and download your image with a watermark or without a watermark. So the next thing that you can do is just go ahead and uh, convert your image directly into a video. So if you want to use the image to video, you can just go ahead and do it straight from here. So you can go ahead and generate as many images as you want with this AI tool and you can go ahead and download them without a single watermark. The last method is through Quen. So once you're here, you can go ahead and sign up through any of the available methods. In my case, I'll just go ahead and sign up with my Google account. 
So once you sign up, this is what you'll see. So you can go ahead and choose the model that you want to use for this. In my case, I'll just go ahead and choose the Quen 2.5. As you can see, you'll be able to see what each and every model does. So I'll just go with the 2.5. So once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is just go ahead and input your prompt right here in the prompt box area. As you can see, there are a number of things that you can do with this tool, including video generation. In our case, we are interested in the image generation. So I'll go ahead and click on image generation. Now, right here, you can see examples of images that have been generated using this tool. So we'll get started by choosing the aspect ratio that we want for our image. And to do that, all you have to do is go ahead and click on this drop down menu right here. So you can choose any aspect ratio that you want from the available ones. In my case, I'll choose 16 is to 9. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and paste or write your prompt right here in the prompt box area. So I'll just go ahead and paste mine right here. So once you have your prompt ready, now you can just go ahead and hit the generate button. And this is just going to start generating your images. As you can see, the image generation with this tool is actually really fast. So here we have the image. As you can see, the quality is really good. The prompt execution is actually really, really good as well. When using this AI tool, you have to go ahead and specify the style of image that you want in your prompt. So I'll just go ahead and input another prompt right here. Then this time I'll just go ahead and input a different style. So once you have that, then go ahead and choose the aspect ratio that you want. And after that, you can go ahead and hit the enter button. So again, in a few seconds, your image will be ready. As you can see, I have my new image and I have it in a different style. So just make sure that you input the style that you want in your image in the prompt. Now you can go ahead and generate as many images as you want using this AI tool. So those are the three AI tools that I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. In case you have any questions about this or suggestions, make sure you input them in the comment section below. Again, if you want to take part in that monetization challenge, make sure you check it out. The link is in the description box below. Until next time, bye-bye.